Happy Death Day. That's a hell of a title. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for a happy death day. And before we get into the review, please help your boy out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, become one of my subscribers. Also click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get this review, this opinion of mine to 100 likes. So happy death day. This is taking a lot of notes from Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray that came out many, many, many years ago. And, um, you know, that was a great movie. A lot of movies recently or not even recently over the past few decades have tailored from that movie. And now this is Happy Death Day doing the same thing. Um, this is being produced by Blumhouse Productions. Um, that is uh, I was about to say that's Michael Bay's production company, but it's not. Uh, it's Jason Blum. Michael Bay's production company is Platinum Dune. So excuse me there. Uh, but Jason Blum is um, behind the Blumhouse production and they are the ones that are doing this. They are known for making making cheap movies and making a good profit off of it but there's nothing wrong with that there's you know there's no rules that say that you can't make movies for cheap and make a profit out of it so you know I want to give them credit there uh, but just going into this movie um, I, my, as far as my expectations I was just kind of saying okay this is just going to be like a stupid you know junior high high school slasher flick with dumb actors dumb dialogue and it's just not going to be that good but you know i tried i'm you know i was going in trying to keep an open mind and you know not trying not to have expectations but you know that's kind of how i felt going in even though i still didn't see many trailers i was just like oh my goodness i mean this is just a money grab you know like i'm tired of studios doing this but you know hey you know what the hell let's go in and see uh what the movie is about and this is, of course, being directed, uh, not directed, but oh, no, let's let's talk about the director. The director is Christopher Landon. And if you're familiar with his work, he did. Uh, I think this is his sixth um, directorial uh, film that he's put on screen. He did two uh, short screens, short screens, short films. I believe the first one was like in 1996. He's also his major film. His first major film was Paranormal Activities, the Mark ones. Uh, which was not good at all. And also, uh, what was it called? Scott's, uh, the zombie apocalypse, like something like the Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, which was not good at all. That was incredibly stupid. So, you know, he really didn't have a good track record, you know, as far as his films are concerned. But, you know, Christopher Landon, he did he did do um, Happy Death Day. And um, I I'll go ahead and be honest with you, like the first 10 minutes of this movie, I was like, oh, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. You know, this movie was just copying off all the old stereotypes from the past. I mean, remember when um, Scream came out? I think that was in I was going to say 95 but I, or 99, but I think that was like 95, 96 or 97. I can't really remember. But then they had a scary movie come out and like I think that was like 99 or 2001 or 2000. I can't remember. Let me know in the comments or whatever. But I remember a scary movie that, you know, of course, it's making fun of all scary movies or whatever. And in that in that scene, they had a scene at the very beginning in that movie. They had a scene at the very beginning of the movie to where it was this uh, uh, Caucasian woman running. And there was a sign right here. This says safety. This way says death. And she chose a death way and she fell down and she doesn't get up, you know. And, you know, scary movies are always being made fun of because they do things like that that are very frustrating to where you're like screaming at the screen like, you know, get up, fool, run, run, you know. And that's kind of how the first 10 minutes of this movie was. I was like, yep, this is going to be stupid. You know, I, I, I don't like it. And as uh, what is her name? Uh, Jessica. L I forgot the actress's name. Um, but her her name in the movie is called like Trey or Tree. And, you know, it says that she was in La La Land that came out at the end of last year. And I don't remember her, you know, in that movie because I did see La La Land once in the theaters and I really did like it a lot. But she is the main actress in this movie. She's having the Groundhog Day treatment to where she's waking up every day at 901 on her birthday. And she's just trying to go out through her day. But she's getting murdered on her birthday. Hence, that's why the movie is called Happy Death Day. And she's just trying to figure out who the killer is and essentially has, you know, nine lives, 100 lives or, you know, infinite amount of lives to, you know, figure it out. Now, that's the plot of the movie just, you know, for that. And I don't want to ruin any more uh, for you than I already have. But that's pretty much you probably already know that from the trailer. 
And if you can get past the first 10 minutes, you know, um, I was wrong because this movie did not suck. It was not bad. It was not horrible. It was actually pretty dang good. And I'm very surprised like that. And because of that, and like the one of the main things that I really did like about the movie is the main actress. Her name, and I, I, I have to look up her name because um, it, it, she just deserves the credit because uh, Jessica Roth. Okay. Her name is Jessica Roth and the role she's playing is Tree Gelbman, and you know her last name does not matter but you know she's the main uh, actress in this movie and she did a great job i really do like her because when i'm seeing movies like this or normally when people are seeing movies like this slasher fiction like i said you're always screaming at the screen like man i would have died i would have done this i would have done that i would have you know i would have hid in this corner over here etc 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 and after you know the first time that she dies in the movie and she wakes up the next the next day, living the day for the second time. She's like, you know, wait, what's going on? You know, this kind of seems familiar. Maybe what I was maybe this is a dream. Or I'm having deja vu. But when she dies again for the second time and she wakes up on the third day, she's like a completely different person. She she's like smart. She's not a dumb character. She's a very smart character and using reason and logic and rationale to try to figure this out. And I really like that. Because I was saying to myself, I was putting myself, trying to put myself in her shoes. And I was just like, hey, if I was in this situation, these are the things that I would do. These are the steps that I would take. And guess what? She did all of that. So I was like, okay, great. Hell yeah. You know, we got a great movie here going. You know, um, we got a great character. And I am on board. I actually remember getting to the edge of my seat, just trying to figure out like, okay, what is she going to do next? How is she going to figure this out? And on her surrounding environment, I really did appreciate it too. She's on a college campus and I have been to college before uh, up in Ditton at UNT. Go Eagles, Eagle Claw. And um, they did a really good job of portraying college life, you know, in the movie. I mean, there was a lot of things that they were just, you know, random things they were doing, like, you know, just, uh, you know, students walking around on campus, dorm rooms, you know, fraternities, sororities, parties, things like that. It's things that we see in movies all the time. But for some reason, the college scene in this movie really did speak volumes to me. And it was all believable. You know, you had a, ve- a, a nice variety of personalities. And I was just like, man, I remember going to, a, uh, you know, having a class with a girl like that. And I remember, you know, uh, going to a class with a guy like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that really hit home for me. And just, you know, on top of already liking a good character character you know i was liking the environment as well now i kind of did lose faith for a little bit because some of the things i I would even though i really did enjoy the movie there was some things that was frustrating me just a little bit but not enough to ruin the movie and that is just kind of like you know when the killer is chasing a tree in the movie like sometimes he's like over exaggerating or she is over exaggerating with like how you know you know how she's trying to kill the uh, protagonist like you're running full sprint and then you're able to turn right on the beeline and jump over this and duck under this but right when you get to the kill you just stumble and over exaggerate your knife and you just completely miss like oh i missed you you went over there oh I, and i'm just like okay come on that's a little corny you don't have to you know do it that much that's you know you're over exaggerating over exaggerating um i don't want to say just a little bit but a lot and they did that like a couple of times you know within the movie but like i said it's not enough to ruin the whole experience for you they're just kind of like little nitpicks here and there but then, I mean, the film is progressing on and, you know, she's, you know, uh, Tree is talking to this person, this person just trying to figure out what's going on. And, you know, she's getting closer and closer and closer. But at the same time, she as soon as it feels like every time she takes a step forward, she's taking two back. And it's just like really frustrating. And like the like after the fourth or fifth or sixth time that she's dying, she's just losing her mind and just having a freaking meltdown. And like I can sympathize with her like, man, you know, I like you're doing all you're making all the right moves all the right decisions to like figure out who is killing you and you just can't figure out and it's driving you crazy and the acting that she did in these particular scenes it spoke volumes and i really did like it i'm like you know i was convinced you know i was like wow she really is terrified you know you really can't talk to too many people about it because they're going to think you're crazy but even if you do talk to them about it and they understand everything that is going on and they're like okay i'm going to dedicate my whole life to help you and you know get you out of this situation but when you die they don't remember that you know they got to start you got to start over so you know i really did appreciate that and movies like this where characters have to uh, you know they live the same day over and over is really just a self-evaluation 
a picture or a film or a project you know when the character they're all for the most part they're kind of despicable they're not the best people they're kind of selfish rude and really just care about themselves and you know they're though they are those type of people and sometimes those type of people need to look in the mirror and realize their ways and ways that they are hurting other people and there was a good example of that in this movie and um and, you know i did appreciate that as well um and towards the end i mean you know like there's a montage towards the middle of the movie when she's just trying you know and, and sometimes she's terrified and she's just like i don't know what to do i'm losing my freaking mind but at different times i mean she died like 15 20 times in this movie and at other times she's like you know embracing like hey you know, I don't care. You know, even if I, I you know, today I'm just going to be super nice to everybody. Or today I'm going to be super mean to everybody. Or this day I'm just going to walk around naked and just, you know, go like this and like, hey, you know, and, you know, and, and, and it's fun, you know, and, and it's funny, too, because, I mean, she just doesn't care. And she's just trying to make the best of it. And each time she dies, she's just learning more about the situation where she's the situation that she's in. And, um, you know, her current situation, like, you know, her looking in the mirror and evaluating, you know, what type of person she is wanting to be better, wanting to be the best version of herself. Now, towards the end of the um, towards the well, no, I don't want to talk about towards the end of the movie yet. As far as all the killings are concerned, um, they did come out of nowhere here and there, which, which is fine. I, I, that's not a knock. That's a praise because, you know, you don't want everything to be unexpected. But at the same time, I was just kind of saying to myself, OK, you like. I know the killer is wearing all black and has this, you know, silly, goofy baby mask on. It's like really creepy. But sometimes like I, I just wish the killer would have used a little bit of discretion. Um, you know, like sometimes the killer is just acting like they're, you know, that the killer is there. And then the person he's trying to kill is just on. They're on the campus all by themselves. They're like the only ones in the world or something like that. Like, no, you know, there is a such thing as witnesses. So, you know, it, the film could have, you know, wrote that a little bit better, um, you know, but it's not that big a deal. But towards the end of the movie, I mean, once you think everything is figured out, I mean, because they were they they reveal the killer um kind of early on and i was just kind of like who the hell is this killer you like i don't know who he who he or she is like you know what's going on how did this person relate to the main character or whatever and so i was just like a little lost like i was ready for the movie to end so i can wait in the hall in the hallway of the theater and just kind of ask people that's coming out like okay who was the killer like i don't know who that person was but ha ha towards the end of the movie there is a twist and there is like multiple twists and multiple revelations and i was like oh snap I did not see that coming, and, you know, and that was just really clever, and I really did appreciate it, and, you know, overall, guys, I really did enjoy this film, um, I mean, I'm not saying that you have to rush the theaters to see it, if you already have, if you already had plans to see this movie, and you was already excited, go, of course, go see it, you know, but if you was a little skeptical, and just like, ah, uh, you know, this is gonna be just like a dumb high school movie, where, you know, people are making out in the back row, or whatever, I don't know, um you know no go treat yourself it's, it was a really good movie and i did appreciate it um it was funny um even though it's familiar with the groundhog's day theme you know they there still was a nice little fresh take that the director christopher landon uh, was able to put together when he directed this film and like i said for the third or fourth time i really did enjoy it uh it was funny it was thrilling it wasn't scary at all but you know it was an overall great movie that i really did appreciate and um, i think you will too if I have to rate Happy Death Day out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Yes, an 8 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Happy Death Day or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Become one of my subscribers so you can get all the content that I have to provide. Click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. You can also go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it. I do have written reviews. And also, guys, look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy for you guys by providing a link for all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Happy Death Day directed by Christopher Landon and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion peace